fellow students of grade 3, welcome back. Today we will learn on the topic that is learning and using multiplication five. So let's begin. So we will first go with this multiplication five. First, let us try to understand what is a multiplication five. So here, let's try out with this example. That is the first example. I've written a question, word problem. That is, it says there are five groups of two marbles each. That means there are five groups of two marbles. So let's make it five group. I'm going to use a circle. Two, three, four, and five. So five groups I've made five groups. One, two, three, four, five. And it says two marbles each. So I'm going to put two, two, two in all this group. So five groups of two marble each. Here it says find the total of the numbers, total number of marbles. So how do we find the total number of marbles? We know that there are five groups of two marbles each. So to get the answers, or we call it the product, what do we do is we're going to add this two five times. We have five groups of two marbles each, so eight two five times. Four and five. One, two, three, four, five. We have five groups of two marble each. Now let's add it. Two and two, that is two plus two more, you get four. Four and two is six. Six and two is eight. And eight plus two is ten. That means all together we have how many marbles? We have ten marbles. So that's how we can use that is, we call it this one as repeated additions. So we, to find the answers, we can use this repeated ma additions method to get our total. Or we can use another way that is, instead of repeated additions, we can find the answers by multiplying. What is that? That is, we know that there are two marble each in all these five groups. So I'm going to write two and then two marbles each in five groups. So two times a five, we know that, that is two in the five is 10. So we got our answers as 10. So we can also use multiply, that is multiplication, to get our answers. So here I've used this two in the five equal to 10. So this number sentence is called multiplication five. All right, that is two times a five is equal to 10. So to get our answers, that is a total. We can multiply, symbol, multiply it to get your answers. That is the product. Now let's go to this multiples. The second one. What do you mean by multiples? Now here, I've used this example that is 2 to 5 equal to 10. So your answer 10 is your multiples. That is, I can say that this 10 is a multiple of two tables. And 10 is also a multiple of five table. So let's find out some of the multiples tables, multiples of two, five, and ten. So multiples of five, multiples of two, let's go with multiplication. That is multiples of two. So to find the multiples of two, what you have to do is you have to add two each time to get your next number. Or simple, now you know the tables of two, so just write the tables of two. That will be your multiples of two. So we know that the multiples of two, that is we will count on to two places each. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So these are the multiples of two. So I have written here the 10th multiples of two. That is the first multiple of two is two, second multiple of two is four, third multiple of two is six. So that, that's how it goes on to 10. Now what about five here? To find the multiples of five, what you have to do is you have to come onto the five places each time. That is, you get your number as five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. And for the multiples of 10, is you're going to come onto the 10 places each. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and goes on. So these are the multiples of two, five, and 10. Now for a smaller number, till up to 10 multiple of this 2, 5, and 10 is easy for us. 
Since we know the table of 2, 5, and 10, what about the bigger number? How do we find out whether a number is a multiple or not? That is, a multiples of, is it a multiple of 2, 5, or 10? How do we find out? Know that for multiples of 2, know that if your number ends in end to it, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, that is, a number is a multiple of, that is, it's a multiple of 2. Let's take an example. I'm going to take an example. Any number that is 2, 4, and 6. That is, I have this number 246. Now, if it's 246, your number, that is your digit 6, which is in the 1 space, that is your nth number is 6. That is 6. That means it's a multiple of 2. So, if your 1 space digit number is either two, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, that means know that it's a multiple of 2. So here, your number 2, 4, 6, your 1 space is 6, that means 2, 4, 6 is a multiple of 2. What about multiple of 5? To know that whether a number is a multiple of 5 or not, we just have to check the 1 space, whether it's 0 or 5. Example, I can write 4, 50. Now it is 450, your 1 space is 0. That means it ends in 0. That means this number is a multiple of 5. What about multiples of 10? Here it says multiple of 10 means n with 0, n in 0. So here I can say this number is also a multiple of 10 because your 1 space digit number is 0. So that's how we find out whether a number is a multiple of 2, 5, or 10. Now let's go to the third one, that is expression. What do we mean by expression in mathematical term? So expression is numbers in sign group to show how much something is. That is numbers and signs. So I'm going to take two numbers, that is four and three, and I'm going to add it. That is, that means, so that is four plus three is we know that is seven. So here I've used these numbers, that is 4 and 7, and with the sign that is plus. So that is called expression. That is, 4 plus 3 is the expression for 7. I can also use using a multiplication one. That is, 4 multiplied 3 is 12. So here I've used these two numbers, that is 4 and 3, and the sign that is the multiplication sign. So 4 into 3 is 12, so I can say that this 4 into 3 is an expression for 12. So that's how we find what expression. That is, remember expressions means numbers and signs, they group together to show how much something is. Now we will start with, the, with some of the questions. That is, we'll, we will try to practice some of the exercises, some of the few questions. Now let's try some of the questions over here. So we will try with the first questions. That is, first question here, it says, Sarah buys three bunches of bananas. It says three bunches of bananas. I'm not going to draw the bananas. You see, I'm going to draw a box. Take it that this box is your three bunches of bananas. All right? Now it says, the second, set, the second line, it says, there are six bananas. First, three bunches of bananas we have. And in all this, it, ha it says, the second line it says, there are six bananas in each bunch. So I'm going to write six, 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 six in each bunch. Right? Now it says, how many bananas does Sarah buy all together? So all together, how many bananas she buy? That is, how to find out the total? That is, by how we did before, that is adding, that is doing repeated additions, that is we have six bananas in three bunches, that is six plus six plus six equal, we know that six plus six is twelve, and another six makes eighteen. that means we have, that means Sarah buy all together how many bananas? Eighteen bananas. You can find out the answers by using repeated additions method, or you can find that is by multiplying. That is, we have, it says six bananas in each bunch. So six bananas. So how many bunches we how many bunch we have? That is three bunches of bananas. One, two, three. So multiply by three. So six times of three, that is eighteen. So altogether, she buy how many how many bananas? 
18 bananas. So you can find either by using that is repetition, repeat, repeated additions method or you can find by using multiplication. That is simply by multiplying that is 6 into 3 equal to 18. Now let's go to the second questions. It says use each of the digits that is here your digits numbers are 3, 5, 7 and 0. So we are going to use here only this digit number that is 3, 5, 7 and 0 and none other than this other number to complete this statement. So this is your two statement. These are your two statement. So we are going to complete this statement by using this following digit that is 3, 5, 7 and 0. Now it says, second line it says you can only use each digit once. So remember you have to use a digit only once. You cannot repeat the same number again. And then, so let's find out. What is the first statement? It says dash, that is, we have two boxes, that means it will be of two digits number. So we have to find out what is that number. That is a multiple of five. That means the number which we are going to find over here inside this box is a multiple of five. Remember that in a multiple of five, that means your number that is in the one space number should be either zero or five. That's what we have learned for the multiples of five. And then it says greater than 50. That means your number should be greater than 50. So here your first digit is three. We cannot use this three because the number should be more than 50. So what do we, I, what do, we do is we'll go with the seven number. That is the seven digit. So we'll write seven. And then it says multiples of five means your one space digit number will be either five or zero. So what we have is we have five over here. So I'll use this five. So that makes 75 and your one space digit number is five. That means 75 is a multiple of five because your one space digit number is five. So it's a multiple of five. And then your number that is 75 is greater than 50. So 50 greater than 50 that is 75 now let's go to the second statement it says dash is a multiple of 10 now here we have to find out the multiple of 10 here remember for a multiple of 10 your one space digit number should be zero so what do we do and then what it says less than 50 so it should be less than 50 so for the one space for multiples of 10 should be zero so we have zero here so I'll use the zero here in the one space and then it says less than 50, that means 5, less than 5, so less than 5 will be 3, so I'll use 3 here. So that makes 30, that means 30 is a multiple of 10, because your one space digit number is 0, and then it's less than 50. That means this statement is correct now, so this is how we find the answers. Now let's go to the third question. Here, the third question is says, Hugo is thinking of a number. That means he is thinking of a number. We are going to find what is the number that he is thinking. He says, my number is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3. That means the number that he is thinking is a multiple. That number is of a multiple of 2 and is a multiple of 3 also. My number is greater than 10. And remember? The number that he is thinking is greater than 10. That means it should be greater than 10. So let's find out. It says it should be a multiple of 2 and 3. It's a multiple of 2 and 3. So let's find out. How do we start this? We'll start with the first multiple of 2. First write down the multiple of 2 and the multiple of 3. Now in this multiple of 2 and 3, when we compare, we find that this 12 and this 12 are both in this 2 and this 3 tables that is we have 12 in 2 table and we have 12 again in 3 tables and then another we have is 18 18 so we have 12 and 18 in both the table of 2 and 3 that is 12 and 18 is both in the tables of 2 and 3 that means 12 and 18 is a multiple of both 2 and 3 and then what it says the last line? It says, what is the smallest number Google could be thinking of? So out of this 12 and 18, we know that 12 is smaller number. So that means the number that he's thinking is, the answer is 12. So that's how we find out using this first multiples of 2 
and multiples of 3 and then finding answers. So now we will go with the next questions. So let's start with the next question that is the last question. Here we have it says Parveen has some number cards. So he has some number cards. It says she says if I multiply the number. So what is that number? Let's find out. It, it says if I multiply the number on my card by 5. That means it says that means just take it that there is a number. It says if I multiply the number by 5. That means a number is multiplied by 5. The answer is that is equal to 45. So what number is on her card? So what is that number card? We have to find out. It says number multiplied by 5. The answer is 45. So how do we find out? So it's a multiplication. How do we do this? Here your number is 5. So we will read the table of 5. We know that 5 times of 9 is 45. That is 5, 9 are 45. So we write here 9. That is 5, 9 are 45 answers. That means the num what number is on our card? So our card number is, the answer is 9. Now let's go to number B. Here it says, she chose a different card. Now this time she has chosen a different card and says if I divide. Now this time she's dividing the number. So divide the number, so make a box and put the divide sign on this card by 4, by 4. So divided by 4, so write 4. And then it says the answer is 6, so write equal to 6. So what is on her card number? So what is that card number? Let's find out. It says dash divided by 4 equal to 6. So to get your answers, what you have to do is simple. You multiply this number, that is your divisor, and your quotient number, that is your answer number. That is, you're going here, this, in this number statement, you're going to divide this number by this 4. So, take this number and then multiply it with your answer. That is 4 sixes, we know that 4 six is 24. So, write here 24. That is 24 divided by 4 if you multiply. If you divide, you get your answer 6. That is 24, if you divide it by 4, you get that is, you know, 4, 6 is 24. So that means 6 is your answer. 6 is your answer. So that means to get your answer, that is your dividend number. Just multiply your divisor and your answer. That is 4, 6, 24. So the number card is, the answer is 24. So that's the answer. So that's all for today. See you again in the next video.